Hey everyone, so Jellybean here, and we are back with Cult Arms Gates Fell Osfram, and this tutorial is about side skirts and anti-tank or anti-heat round cages for the tanks. As you can see here, we have tanks with the heat round cages on the T3485 and one without. And we also have a stoop with the side skirts and one without. I know slightly different models, but the only main difference with the armor is at the front, the side armor is basically the same, especially on the sprockets and wheels. I'm basically going to show you how effective side skirts are. And are these cages effective against heat rounds? By heat rounds, I mean Panzerfaust, because that's what they were actually designed for in the war to stop. They were designed to detonate the high explosive anti tank round in the Panzerfaust before it penetrated the tank's armor. Now, is it effective? Well, we will find out. So, we'll start with the anti tank rifle. It's around 50 meters away from the target, as you can see here. And we have Stoogs, you know, the fuller crew. I'm just going to show you the damage that can be done, obviously, without the. Um, We'll just move to the side slightly. Without the side skirts on, you just fire away with five rounds in. And as you can see, we'll switch and show you the damage. And there you can see he's immobilized on one side, he's taking damage to the hull, and none of the crew members are dead, but his engine is also damaged. Pretty bad, pretty bad. So now we will take some shots at the one with the side skirts, if it allows us to select. As you can see here, we've got the nice side skirts. We can actually aim at the skirts as well. So there you go, the side skirts are flying off, that's pretty epic. Right. Now the side skirts only have 8mm of armour. And as you can see, we have immobilised the side. But compared to the first vehicle, it has taken some of the hits. It's definitely absorbed some of the damage. Now I'm just going to uh, reload the rifle of this guy and open fire without the side skirt. So that's just, he's fully loaded. Let's pump four more rounds in. As you can see, four decent hits. Then we'll quickly switch off. And he's still not actually done much damage, so we'll just pump a few more in. Let's get some good accuracy on. And it should have damaged the hull a bit. Now, it hasn't actually done it on this one. It's making me look a bit of a fool. <laughs> but we'll do it. We'll pump a few more rounds in just to show you. Might take a little longer than I thought. And normally, it will penetrate into the tank. There you can see hull damage. Now, obviously, it took a few more rounds than we thought, but the side skirts, which are up to 8mm, they do take out some of the kinetic energy of the anti-tank rifle. So having side skirts on, it doesn't mean you're you know, immune because we did still damage the tracks, but those four side skirts can take a bit of a hit, and even light anti-tank rounds, like out of a 45mm or a 37mm, the very light anti-tank guns, the side skirts will stop. Obviously, side skirts are something you'll see on German vehicles and maybe some of the Finns, but not so much the Russian ones. But they are effective. But just remember, they're there to provide a little bit of a buffer, especially with AT rifles, for instance. He's around 50 meters away here. At 100 meters, he'll have less penetration, less kinetic energy, and that 8 millimeters of armor will be able to potentially save your tank from being immobilized or crew getting killed. This one was quite durable here. As you saw, the damage there without any side skirts. Now, it is a different model of tank, I know. It's an earlier version of the Stug. But with the Panzer Fours as well, when you've got the side skirts, it's far more effective than when you don't. So always think about the side skirts as kind of a last um, a last line of defence against those flanking anti-tank rifles the Russians are using. Obviously, if you play Conquest, you'll know that the Russians do use a lot of AT rifle troops all the way through the game. Now, here's the really interesting one. We're just going to move the troops up. Do these anti-tank cages work now? It doesn't matter how close you are with the Panzerfaust because it's a high explosive anti-tank round. And as anyone who's watched my ammunition video will know, high explosive anti-tank rounds is an internal uh, mechanism. When it hits, it... Basically, the explosive makes the copper turn into a solid slug or whatever metal they're using, and it penetrates based on the internal the kind of the internal explosion. So it doesn't matter whether you're a meter away or whether you're a thousand meters away. High explosive anti tank rounds do the same penetration, so we can get really close and get our accuracy up. Now, first of all, we're going to fire at the tank without any cages and see what happens. So let's just pump one in. That's a nice hit there. Just going to quickly switch and check the damage, and as you can see, hull damage and two of the crew killed. So that's pretty bad. And then we're going to repeat with this guy on the exact same around the area, but there is a nice little cage there to see if it helps. Let's fire. And that actually went through pretty nastily, actually. But it's damaged the engine, but not as much damage on the crew. It was around the same area. So we're going to try again. That was a, probably a bit to the left of where it should have been, but we'll try again. And let's fire at... Where's the cages? We'll fire at the turret. Let's see what happens there. Back of the turret there. And completely knocked it off the ring. No kills though, but heavily damaged. 
and then we'll switch back to this anti-tank guy and we're going to aim it around the same area where the handle is but we should hit the cage let's get more accurate let's fire and that went straight through again didn't do much and the turret is damaged but unlike the other one there is no damage on the hull and there's no damage on the main gun so it's still penetrating but it does seem to maybe have taken out a little bit of the oomph but it's not that effective now we're going to do another test so we're going to fire one more at the internal kind of compartment of the tank see what happens straight through the middle there and um, yeah he is uh, he's dead and the crew is dead very unfortunate for that crew but very good for their service and that round was around let's just double check round there so i'd say it was about there and let's see if we can make a difference here and that hit quite effectively as you can see damage to the hull and kills to the crew but far less damage now a slightly different part of the vehicle but still the cage does seem to as you can see there look it actually detonated on the cage it actually detonates on the cage as you can see there is actual damage on the cage now does it actively make an effect and i was reading up about high explosive anti tank and cost the game is obviously based on real kind of life weaponry that small gap can actually sometimes make the high explosive anti tank more effective so these cages you actually see them today in the kind of russia ukrainian conflict because there are tanks using these even in the afghanistan war we also use them on british vehicles they are supposed to work but in game they don't seem to make too much of a difference we are going to pump a last one. Do we have any more left? Oh, we're out of fouls, actually. We're out of fouls. But, as you can see, it made maybe a slight difference, but in my opinion, I would not rely on these cages to actually stop Panzer Faust. I was always kind of thinking, do they actually work? And as you can see, the Faust will still penetrate the cage with relative ease. It might make a slight difference to the penetration amount, but remember, Panzer Faust have a penetration of around 200 millimetres. So unless they're firing at a cage that's maybe protecting 160 millimeters equivalent of armor, it's not going to make a difference. Maybe if the cages were chunkier and further away from the armor, but that small gap there is the slug's still going to penetrate and still do a lot of damage. So anyway, I hope this video has been useful to you. I hope it's taught you about side skirts and obviously that these cages basically make no difference, even though they do look pretty cool. And when you're in Conquest, do watch out for the sneaky Panzerfaust. And there is only one way to deal with a Panzerfaust, and that is like so. When a Panzerfaust is about to shoot you, the only effective way to kill a Panzerfaust is to do this. Because if he's dead, he can't shoot you with it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. You guys have a fantastic day.